Okay, good morning. Um, this is, is going to give you a short tour on monitoring performance of your OpenStack environment. And um, currently looking just at performance, I'm quite aware of uh, people are using the term monitoring for everything, like look at performance or availability. But this is uh, only for performance monitoring. I'm currently a software developer at uh, Red Hat. So, um, to take a step back, step back, there are several or like tons of um, systems available to monitor performance. If you're looking at um, ancient times, uh, there might, might be something like Moonin, which is aged from 2002, or take a, a look at the more um, modern Prometheus, which is even five years old. Um, both are using a pull, mechan uh, pull mechanism, which um, is not that suitable for um, highly dynamic environments, since you need to register all your clients to that uh, monitoring server. And if you're providing uh, tons of uh, virtual machines and you want to use monitoring or you, you want to monitor those machines as well, it needs to re-trigger something in, in the monitoring server. And this is mostly nothing you really want in a in such an environment. Um, both uh, systems are explicitly single server, uh, which gives you a headache if you're trying to scale to huge scales. Um, looking at the techniques um, used, um, Moonin is quite simple. It's just an interface to RID tool, and um, it's also um, doing something like rendering graphics and so on. Um, Prometheus um, uses a bit more um, components and it's mostly a, a time series database and uh, also uses a, a polling mechanism. There, are, as I mentioned, there are tons of other uh, tools like Ganglia, Cacti, PCP and so on. So let's take a step back and look what we have for data collection if we don't want to use this pull mechanism. So. There is a quite common implementation um, or something like a standard. Um, it's named STATSD. Um, it is described or was described roughly around 2012, um, originated at Flickr and then um, continued at Etsy. And there are at least 10 or 12 implementations using Perl, Node, Python, whatever, and it's being widely used because it's so simple. And um, this, is, uh, this takes a different approach. It pushes the data to a, mo a central monitoring node or cluster or whatever. So this is more suitable for use in um, cloud environments. Then another um, opportunity is to use Collecti. Um, it is um, quite ancient as well, but um, it's well tested, and there are lots of uh, plugins available, which is uh, good for the use in uh, the OpenStack case in this. And um, as you see in the graphs, it's just forwarding data via a data store, and finally you could use a visualization. So let's have a quick uh, look at the data store. The current or the standard setup uses something which is named uh, Graphite. And it's um, a pack of uh, packages, which is uh, Carbon Whisper and the UI named Graphite. You could also use um, InfluxDB um, or a different solution would be, and that's why, I'm, why we are here, you could use Gnoki for this. And um, Gnoki had, has the uh, um, benefit of better scaling. Um, it 
also provides something like data aggregation. If you're uh, collecting uh, statistics uh, like load average or whatever over, over the time, uh, the back end will also, also um, aggregate your data and uh, won't do the aggregation if you're looking at the stats. So it, the delivery of m your data is much faster. And um, since we are here, um, it has also a own um, statistics plugin. So you could just query OpenStack metric status and get some data back from uh, Noki as well. Um, you could use a setup in your cloud environment or you could uh, use um, Gnocchi as standalone version um, using uh, standard HTTP authorization. So for visualization, it's mostly uh, using Grafana. Oh, and if, if you're using um, uh, Graphite and uh, WhisperDB, the support is uh, just built in. If you're using Noki, it's, it's a, a plugin that's just one click on the um, Grafana marketplace away. If you're asking yourself what to monitor in your OpenStack environment, usual suspects, free memory, I.O. weights, and so on. Database writes is always good. Um, since we are using so many um, HTTP connections, you could uh, monitor easily your HTTP. Uh, Rabbit in queue, queue length, um, if your queues are growing, you have a problem. Um, so having a, a look at that, Gnocchi stats, that's what I mentioned. And if you want to um, extend this, um, you could easily uh, use the uh, collect the exact plugin to write shell scripts and append whatever you want. So, um, what I'm pref preferring currently is CollectD for data collection, Noki for the time series database, and Grafana for the visualization. That's it, thank you. Any questions? None?